Hi everybody, my name is Lindsay and I'm a transfer credit evaluator here at CU Boulder. Today we're going to go over the how will my courses transfer feature in transferology. We're going to go over how to enter coursework and how to distinguish between matches, misses, and maybe. So let's get started. Okay, in order to get to transferology, start by opening your favorite web browser. And then there are two ways to get there. So the first is through our website. So if you type in colorado.edu slash admissions slash transfer, this will take you to our transfer admissions page. There's lots of important information on here, so I'd highly recommend you check this out. But in order to get to transferology from here, you'll need to scroll down a little bit and click on and click in the boxes, click on the understanding transfer credit box and then from there that'll take you to our understanding transfer credit and um, prerequisites page and if you scroll down a little bit in the first box there is a create a transferology account box and that'll link you directly to transferology the second option is to go just directly to transferology so if you type in transferology.com slash school slash Colorado, this will take you to Transferology. Once you're there, you can create an account using a unique email or by using a Google email or Google account or a Facebook account. Um, it is absolutely free to use Transferology, so you don't need to worry about paying or anything like that. Just sign up and you can use its services. So once you have created an account, you'll be brought to the Will My Courses Transfer page in green. There's also the Find a Replacement Course section in blue, which we'll go over in a different video. So but please make sure that you're in the green Will My Courses Transfer section. So there are three places that you can enter in coursework. There are traditional courses taken on an institution, standardized exams such as ACT, SAT, AP, IB, and um, club exams, and then also military credits. So your military experience, if you have a um, joint services transcript or a JST transcript, um, you can enter in those courses there and just kind of see how they transfer over. However, if you have any sort of standardized exams or military credits, we do recommend that you reach out to us at TC Help at Colorado.edu just so we can send you some additional resources um, like our pre-transfer advising team to um, better understand how those courses or how those exams are going to apply to your degree and how those are going to affect you down the road. In order to start entering in traditional coursework, we're gonna go ahead and type in the school name. I'm gonna go ahead and select Front Range Community College. Next, we're gonna type in the year and semester we have taken the course. Please make sure that you are selecting the correct year and term that you took the course because year by year, semester by semester, term by term, course descriptions can change and this can change how the evaluation will come into us at CU Boulder. So please make sure you're getting the correct information in there. Next, we're gonna select the department. So I'm gonna go ahead and select psychology and this will bring up a list of all of the courses listed in that school's um, course inventory or catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and select courses from Front Range. As I'm selecting those courses and switching in the terms and the department and selecting the class that I'm taking, I'm click clicking that green plus symbol in order to add that over to the My Courses cart, as we call it over on the right-hand side of the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a few more classes here. I'm gonna scroll down to a Calculus 2 class, click that green plus button and it'll add to my cart. One more class, I'm gonna add this welding class and that will also go over into my cart. Once I've added all of my courses into my cart, I'm gonna click the green search for matches button. Now once I've searched for matches, it'll bring us to the schools found page. So there's two screens you can kind of see here, it kind of depends on how you have entered into transferology. One page is the page that I'm seeing now. 
is just listing out CU Boulder's matches here with the 67% match. There is also another view where you can see every single course or every single school in a school near you, um, either listed by best match or distance to, kind of again depends on here, but you can over on the right hand side of the screen search for different schools if you're doing some shopping. If you are only seeing the CU Boulder page, you can hit this blue show, show additional results page and that can bring in some more um, institutions there. But I'm going to go ahead and click the percentage match in green in order to move on to the next page. So once we have selected CU Boulder, it's going to bring us to the matches, misses, and maybes page. These are the way that the courses that I've entered into transferology are transferring, not transferring, or need more evaluation. So let's dive in a little bit more. The first tab here is our matches. So matches, there are two different types of matches. The first is a direct equivalent. You can tell it's a direct equivalent because a specific course is listed out. Say for example, this Calculus 2 class, our Math 2300, that is our Calculus 2 and it is equivalent to the class that we took at Front Range. There's also um, what we call general elective classes that end in TC. TC classes are classes that are either still under review or just general elective classes that can still apply to the degree in some way. If you're looking for more information on how a course may transfer, you can go ahead and click this little information I button and that'll tell you how that course is going to transfer. The second tab is our misses tab. So there's two parts to this. The first part I'm going to go over is the does not transfer section. So these are classes that are technical, remedial, or not academic in nature, and we are not accepting for transfer credit. Um, for example, this welding class is a technical class, and we are not going to take that for transfer credit. The second part of the message page is additional courses required. So this, for this example, the Psych 101 class, while that is transferable and is listed under our matches page, our matches section, if we were to take the Psych 102 class as well as the Psych 101 class, that would be equivalent to CU Boulder's Psych um, 1001 class. So if we were to take those classes we would get a better evaluation because of that. And that's why that's listed here on the Mrs. page. The last section, or maybe section, are classes that we have not seen before and need to be sent over to us, transfer credit evaluators at TC Help for review. We'll be going over how to send those maybe courses. If you have a lot over to us at transfer credit, or our transfer credit team, excuse me, in a different video, so please check out our more videos below in the description box on how to do that. But just to finish out this video, if you go over to the right hand side of the page, there are a lot of information and links out to our CU Boulder page. This will lead you back to our transfer missions page, things like our financial aid page and stuff like that. So you can do more research attached to not just knowing how your transfer credit is going to come in, but what steps you need to take in order to start applying and um, things to know as you get started in your transfer process. All right, so that was part one of the three parts of how will my courses transfer feature in Transferology. Please make sure you check out part two and part three in the description box down below on YouTube or on our website, colorado.edu slash admissions slash transfer. See you next time.